let's listen to this music. So, my hopium has been pretty high for Dragonflight since day one. For me, the vibe has always just felt good. And that's continued throughout beta. The vibe has always just been there with Dragonflight in a way that it wasn't for me for Shadowlands. Personally, your experience may vary. And it's always been since this first moment that consistency of like good vibe has been there. And one of the things I've always really, really liked about the trailer is the music and in particular the new theme in the music which i'm just going to remind you of now i have not listened to the opening title music yet and it's this theme that starts playing when the dragons arrive and i've always loved it i think it's wonderful and i've talked about it at length on this channel it's this one here Yeah, chills, like genuinely. It has always given me chills, like genuinely. And they use it really well in the trailer, but like the theme itself is banging. And it's from a relatively new, as I understand, I might be wrong, but my understanding is it's from a relatively new Warcraft composer whose surname is Liebwitz, I think. Um, and he did like some of my favorite music in Zerith Mortis as well, because I think there's some incredible music in Zerith Mortis. And Liebwitz does seem to be in the music he makes for WoW. He tends to be a lot more motif heavy. He focuses more on like a motif for each piece of music that he writes than a lot of other World of Warcraft composers. He'll get a, a really good hooky motif and he'll work it in the music. And I think that's great. Like, and again, you might not like that, but it's something that I really like. Neil Acri does that really well as well. Um, but it's really noticeable with Leibovitz, um in his Zerith Mortis music. And... I'm not surprised it was him that wrote this theme. Ever since this trailer, I have said, now like I say, I haven't listened. Don't spoil me in this chat. But I have always said, there's one thing that I want from the title music, the loading screen music. I want that theme in it, and I want it to be a Anduin's theme music, like moment. Do you remember when you first heard the music from the loading screen for Legion? And it started off and it was wow music, and you're like, yeah, awesome, brilliant, okay, cool. And then the first theme it really kicked into was Anduin's music. Let me let me play it for you, because it's, uh, it's absolutely brilliant. And that was the moment when you knew that Legion was going to be fucking good, in my opinion. So it's playing WoW music. That's what it's doing. And it's like, oh, this Legion theme's great, isn't it? And, you know, me and Evie were sitting in our living room. We were listening to this. We were really excited because it was new music. And, you know, it's got... There's the, like, Legion-specific bit, which is like, ooh, yeah, that kind of, like, Discordian bit. And the loading screen as well brings back some brings back some feels, doesn't it? Holy shit! And it goes into this kind of like, you know, kind of storm windy kind of thing. And this is the first thing that happens after the main theme, right? And you're like, yeah, okay, okay. We're going into our medley now, right? Yeah, pensive storm wind. But then this happens, and you're like. Oh, holy fuck, what's this? Oh, it's building into something here. Holy fuck. And then this motherfucker starts, and you're like... Wow, that's good. And then this motherfucker starts... I talk a lot about my favorite like music in WoW, Grizzly Hills and, and things like that, and like some of the amazing WOD music and what have you. But my if I had to choose one, not even like my favorite piece of music in WoW, if I had to choose my one favorite musical moment in WoW, it would be that moment where the Anduin theme kicks in on the Legion title screen. Because I remember the moment I like sat down in front of my computer and they were like, the Legion music is out, everyone. And we, I sat down with Evertel and we listened to it. And, you know, it was wow music. And we're like, cool, yeah, awesome. And then, 
like every time um Evie would get into her car for a driving lesson, she'd turn on her car and for a while it would always start playing like the WAD title screen music. For some reason it automatically loaded into that and it would start whenever she put like started her car. So when she was having driving lessons and on her driving test, she'd like start the motor up and the WAD music would just start and she'd be like, I'm so fucking sorry. But like, we were sitting there listening to it, and when that Anduin music kicked in, it was like, okay, Legion's gonna be fucking great. So, and I I always refer to that as the Anduin moment in the Legion music. And that's what I want. That's what I want from the Dragonflight login music. I want an Anduin moment. I want that moment where the fucking theme kicks in, and I want it to be that theme from the trailer. Now look, this could not happen, and I could still absolutely love it, right? I, I reserve the right to love whatever I fucking here right now because I'm always going to love it because it's wow right and you know they never let me down in that in that sense although can you think of like the theme from Shadowlands can you think of the theme from Shadowlands because I can't the Shadowlands title music did not have the Anduin moment bad expansion you need an Anduin moment you need that theme to hang your hat on which like encapsulates the entire expansion Legion had it with Anduin Shadowlands did not have it and Dragonflight needs it. I really want that theme from the trailer to be the main theme. And I want it to be the first fucking theme that it kicks into. Now, I can't help noticing that this is only two, like this is three minutes worth of music. And usually the medley is like eight, nine minutes, something like that. Ten minutes, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to admit my hopes aren't high that we're actually going to get anything that isn't the main WoW theme. But my hopes are high. Because, you know, this is one of the most exciting parts of any build up to an expansion for me. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna put my headphones on. Let's do this. And can, can you hear my voice over it as well? Wow, that's really tribal? Okay, there's our wow strings. But is it like really trolly? Oh my fucking god, can you hear the do 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 do? It's really trolly, I love it. Yeah, yeah, okay, centaur, I guess. Uh, uh, that's probably what they're going for, yeah. Fucking trumpet going nuts, okay. Oh, I checked my speed, hang on. No, no. Okay, now we're into proper wow shit, okay? Okay. Still got that cool zany tribal shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, you fucking tease! That was the theme! That was the theme, it was there, it was underneath. Okay, okay, it was slightly integrated. Okay, I'm get it, I get it, I get it. Come on, where are you gonna go with this? Okay, I'm gonna listen to that again, just so I, like, I'm not just <laughs> fucking just reacting to it, right? But that's, ah, oh, that's incredible. That was so good. And, yeah, it happened. We got it. We got it, fam. We got the, uh, we got the Anduin moment, right? I mean, we did, didn't we? It just went into it. Yeah, totally. No, we got it. We got the Anduin moment. 
we got that yeah we did we got the theme we got like it kicked into that fucking theme and it's such a good theme man it's so cool yeah dragonfly is gonna be good official the thing that really surprised i'm like i'm super pleased that we got the theme just like we wanted it that's really cool the thing that surprises me is this like if i didn't know what the expansion was i'd be like oh shit troll expansion right No, I got chills. I got fucking chills. I would on the fucking show, right? But no, I got proper chills for that. Okay, it's like the returning of the dragon. I think it might be a centaur kind of thing. I really like it, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. The dragonflight theme is a really good flying theme, so. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like the churning strings behind it. It's so fucking good. Right, what's it called when the strings do that like circular thing? Swell, I guess, yeah. No, no. Um, like when when strings do it, and they they do a kind of like a repeated sort of like circular kind of like a you know it's going like like underneath. What's it called when strings do that? Uh, legato uh, pregios is that what it's called? It's it's an appreggio. Okay, okay, cool. Sounds good to me. Ostinato. Okay. Okay, that is fucking banging. I just want to listen to when it breaks into the main theme again one more time because it was so good. I'm sorry, that transition into like the other type of horn coming in there is amazing. That's so good. Like, it's loads of different instruments kind of joining and coming in, like the dragons. Them of that theme slightly from the trailer. Like it's a bit more drawn out, it takes a bit longer to get to each note. And I like that. It's like super flying music, right? 
It's so free. It's so like liberating. So good. It's like it's quite unique for that music as well, isn't it? I like I literally can't think of wow music that sounds like that and that's all we've got so far which is really interesting so that, that's not a medley is it that's not a medley that's hmm interesting that's really interesting i think i will never hear that thing without tally shouting being excited in my head what tony <laughs> yeah okay that is perfect i love it i love it so much it's it's great it feels, yeah, it feels fresh. It feels exciting. It's keeping, it's absolutely keeping the uh, the vibe that I really like so much from uh, from everything Dragonflight so far. It's absolutely got that vibe. It's like got a very consistent vibe. That has not done anything to deflate my Hopium blimp, I'm afraid. It was a... Uh, it was a bit more driven in the trailer. It was like da 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 da. Whereas this one, it takes like a half a beat longer to get to some of the notes. So it's just a bit like it's just a very slightly different rhythm. It sits back on on the theme a little bit more in the title music than it does in the trailer, which makes sense really. Oh no no, my consider me like my hopium balloon just had fucking twins. Like, that was incredible. Interesting to see if that's just going to be it, or if they will add a medley to it. It's kind of weird if the, they would just add that first bit with if it's not finished, right? Which makes me think that is all we're getting. And I don't mind, man. Like, whatever. But is that, is that the end of the medley then? Because um, there is no there is no other music on the, on the uh, beta yet, isn't it? That pretty much gave me everything that I wanted. Everything I was hoping for, we got from that. In my opinion, I got my Anduin theme music moment where it kicked into like an incredibly distinct, recognizable and fucking banging theme for the expansion. Theme itself is the one from the trailer and it's awesome. And it just like that entire theme, the reason I love it so much is it just, it gets that vibe. And so many people have said it in, in the chat and I've seen people seeing it on Twitch as well. It like on Twitter as well, I should say. Is it's got that sense of optimism and kind of hope and heroism and yeah, wonder. That's a good word too. Yeah. And that's what that's what this entire expansion has captured so well so far. And it's absolutely been the vibe of Dragonfly in all of the beta. And from the trailer as well, I think. And I think it's really, yeah, it's really, it's really nailing that so far. And of course, like you'll get music, which is all kinds of different things and what have you, but having that incredibly strong theme that you can kind of peg everything to, I think that's super important. And I don't really know what that theme was for BFA. I don't really know what that theme was for Shadowlands either. I know you'll all be sick of this, but can we put the Shadowlands music on just for a sec? Because I remember when that music came out, there was, it just it was just missing that. You know, okay, you got like the cool like death shit at the beginning. So that was kind of cool. I, I like this kind of like, you know. This opening bit I've always really liked. I think it's really cool. We're not going to listen to the whole medley, don't worry. Just, just that, like, that opening bit. And they didn't even have, like, the... They, they, they skipped, like, the wow strings in this one. Yeah, they changed this bit in, in a way that kind of... Yeah, they changed the da-da-da. Is still fucking. They were they were trying to be very clever. They inverted the the like the main WoW theme. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a really clever one. Uh, thanks for the 32 months, Real ID. But then it should be getting ready to go into its, like, kick-ass theme now, right? So we've had the WoW theme, and the interpretation of the WoW theme is always fun. 
but it should be getting ready to go into its main theme now, right? So, okay, what's the main theme going to be? Okay, I'm going to build up to it. Okay, this is, this is kind of what happens with the Anduin one. goes into Bastion music. Okay, this is exciting still, though. Yeah, there's not that Anduin theme music of, like, there's not just a really... Like, it's cool. Like, the sound is fun and exciting and... It's good, but it doesn't have that nailed on fucking this is the theme of the expansion. You know? Like, it doesn't have that Anduin theme moment that Legion has. It doesn't have that Dragonflight theme moment that Dragonflight music has. You know? Yeah, yeah, and that's what it misses. It, you're right, it never lands it. It never lands, it never fucking drops the bass. It doesn't fucking drop the bass, you know? You're at the club, you got your glow sticks, and like the motherfucking DJ's there, he's like, oh, dum -dum and the crowd's like, oh, yeah! And you're like, drop the bass, bitch! Come on! <laughs> what? Fuck! <laughs> um, it doesn't drop it. it doesn't drop it. Uh, more drop, more better. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what did the... I think BFA did it better. And I think Shadowlands, it was noticeable that it missed that... It missed that real kind of, like, theme, right? BFA's a real classic, in fairness. I identify as a mistake. Hello, mate. Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind if it was. I haven't seen How to Train Your Dragons, so I can't disagree with you. <laughs> I mean, the opening of the Battle of Razzle Throne is amazing, let's be fair. It is good. They're all good, aren't they? Oh, it's really good. Ah, oh, it's really cool. But then, this is a variation of the Anduin theme, right? Which they're just like... Okay. So this is the hook, right? This is the bit where it goes into the main theme. Okay, uh, no, this does a much better version. This does a much better job of it than the Shadowlands music, for sure. Okay, yeah, and then it goes into the. Okay, so, so the version of. Yeah. So, BFA's version of the Anduin theme or the Dragonflight theme is the City of Gold. Which, I mean, it's a fucking banger. It's a fucking banger, but it's... It doesn't, like, encapsulate the... It doesn't encapsulate the fucking expansion like the Anduin music did, or, or the Dragonflight music theme does, I don't think. It's still a fucking... It's a, okay, it goes into a banging tune. It's absolutely banging, but that's the moment is when this one came in, which is where you fucking pin your colors to the mast, and you're like, this is it, this is the theme, 
this is what you're going to remember from the music of this expansion. Like you absolutely do with the Anduin theme. And then I guess we go into Boralus, right? It's really good music, the BFA music, isn't it? Surely we've all accepted that BFA was actually quite good by now, right? Once you get through all the shit... And we're, and we're past, we're past the moment. Like, whatever happens now, you can never get that moment of the Anduin music in there now. It has to happen at that exact certain point. Yeah, but I think the BFA music's really, really good. I feel like, I think the BFA music is more similar to the Shadowlands music than it is to the Legion or Dragonflight music, though. I feel like, I feel like the BFA one's better, but both the BFA and the Shadowlands ones are like... You get the main theme, the variation of the WoW theme. And then what you go into is like, like cool zone music. And it's like, this is what we've got. Whereas the Legion and Dragonflight music is like, this is how we want you to feel. So both the BFA one and the Shadowlands one feels like they're going, here's some really cool music we've got from the zones. Whereas the Legion one and like the Anduin music is not zone music. Like, the Anduin music is... It's like a narrative theme music, and that's the difference. Like, BFA goes into zone music, Shadowlands goes into zone music, Legion goes into narrative theme music. Does that make sense? And it feels like that's what the Dragonflight music does as well.